danger, adventure, living and on the moon, as imagined in the 1953 film Project Moonbase, in a future in space of discovery and excitement. Or just plain fun, like these youngsters playing baseball on the moon in a scene from the recent Disney film Crater. Lunar life may soon be real, thanks to the Artemis program, which launched the uncrewed Artemis 1 mission around the moon in November 2022. Artemis will send four astronauts on a lunar flyby next November with Artemis 2 and is slated to return humans to the moon with Artemis 3 no earlier than 2025. Artemis will also create a space station in lunar orbit called Gateway an outpost for future missions to the moon and a staging point for future deep space exploration. Two major modules should be in place by late 2025. The project adheres to the Artemis Accords, a non-binding agreement between the United States and, as of December 2023, 32 other countries. The Accords call for peaceful exploration, mutual assistance, and sharing scientific data from space. Got India signed this year. Uh, we have uh, very small countries, Luxembourg, for example, uh, uh, Singapore, uh, and we have uh, we've got uh, African countries. Like Angola is the most recent signatory. Uh, Rwanda. Other signatories include Japan, Canada, and 13 European nations, but not Russia or China. A Russian official called the NASA-led agreement too U.S.-centric. The two countries plan to build their own joint lunar research station. Artemis relies on commercial partners, an important precedent, says the head of a company that built the fuel tank for an upcoming support mission. Because you want to be able, for example, to have tourists. All right, well, tourists are going to have to be in a hotel. Well, I've got to build a hotel. All right now, can I do all of this? Does all of this make sense? And the answer is, I do believe it does. He says we have the technology and that lunar resources include frozen water and helium-3, which scientists say could fast-track energy production when practical fusion reactors are developed. Analysts say NASA works well with private partners. The U.S. in particular has been pretty supportive of encouraging uh, companies and, and other countries to use resources on the moon and develop the capability to do that. Um, you know, part of the idea there is that that helps to make space travel more sustainable, uh, helps to develop these new technologies, and move those things forward. Do the movies get it right? A permanent base or bases won't be built until at least the 2030s. But scientists say some Hollywood images may become reality as the Artemis program puts the pieces in place for a human return to the moon and beyond. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles. After circumnavigating the moon and beyond in an elliptical distant retrograde orbit.